Hey, hello, good day. This is something new. We're live streaming from our mobile telephone. Yeah, so I might be looking besides the camera. So, what's the deal? I just returned from Austria this morning. I'm not ha uh, having a computer nearby, so I thought I was going to try this on the phone. And this is just a test to see if it works. Maybe we do this uh, some other time as well, like this. But today, uh, I wanted to show you guys because I'm really enthusiastic. Because before I left for Austria a week ago, um, my girlfriend told me that she had a moving box filled with games that she got from a colleague. And I might be talking a little bit, not too loud, because she is... Uh, gaining up, uh, gaining up on some sleep because we had to uh, wake up really early this morning. So, I've done some household stuff, and, and now it's time for me to sit down, relax, have a cup of tea, and open up the box because I'm really anxious all week because I really want to know what's in there. And I opened it up. I've, yeah, I peeked a bit. But there's some crazy awesome stuff in there. I hope it's possible to switch camera, so let's do that. Alright, so this is the moving box. Uh, I promised that I won't show too much of the household because this is not my place. This is Maxi's place and that's hers. So I'm not gonna show you guys what this place looks like. But what I can uh, show you is the floor with this awesome box. So this is the box that I got from a colleague of hers and there are some awesome games inside of this box. Let me show you guys. I'm not really sure what's in there. I do not feel responsible for what's in there, but I assume it's gonna be awesome and I promise you guys, this is awesome. How do we check up on the chat? Let's see what happens if we click this button. Live chat. Let's see. Oh yeah, we can see all of the chat messages like this. Hey, Eddie. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, man. Streaming from the phone, it is. So this is the moving box that I got from a colleague of Maxi because she heard that I'm into old games. And guys, this is gonna amaze you. This is gonna be awesome. First up. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm watching this on the phone as well. Frankenstein. Through the eyes of the monster. Wake up. It's time to meet your maker. Starring Tim Curry from Interplayer. Really, I've never heard of this game. But I do know who Tim Curry is. Tim Curry is the hotel manager from New York in uh, Home Alone 2. And... The It Clown, of course. Oh, look at this. CGI slash green screen action with 3D environments. Yeah, we do need to check this out real soon. <laughs> this is really cool. This is really cool. Yeah, on the log we have a nice cup of tea. Don't spill it, don't spill it. Sorry for the sound. Let's see. Next up is Urban Runner. Run fast, run smart, stop and you're dead. This is a real-time interactive video thriller from Sierra. I know a lot of Sierra games, but I've never heard of this one. <laughs> it looks amazing about a guy in New York running. At least a city with a nice skyline. <laughs> For CD, wow, interactive whodunit. So it's some kind of Cluedo ish video. Yeah, we need to check this out. This superior SVGA graphics to bring the chase to life. Wow, somebody had this on their attic for 20 years and decided to give this to me. Oh man. That feeling is really incredible. All right, next game. What's this? 
links. Sorry, I'm, I have to do all of this one-handed, so it might take a while. Hey, this is a golf game? Of course, I haven't heard of it. With Dutch and French, French manual. But it's from Kix. The, the, the K-I-X-X. Yeah, I've got a version of Duke Nukem 3D from Kix. My, my first full version of Duke Nukem is from that uh, brand of developers. Oh, well, developers, uh, how do you call it? Uh, the, the, the people that bring it out in the open. I'm not really a golf simulation fan, but this really looks okay. Yes, it's, it's, it's okay, I guess. I love it and it, that it's boxed. That's cool. So, already three awesome games. What's next? Oh, this is another Kicks game, right? Yeah, what is it? The Riddle of Master Lou. That's from Ripley's Believe It or Not. That sounds cool. Ripley's Believe It or Not. This one does not have a box, so I'm, I'm going to put that one aside. Oh, yes. For MS-DOS, Screamer, that is plus echt scheuren. Virgin and Graffiti. With Dutch manual. It's from the Dixons. 60 gulden. 60 bucks. 20 years ago. This has been bought in... Yeah, well, somewhat... Of 20 years ago. I love Screamer. I didn't play it a lot, but I do need to play this. I really do. It's a really good racing game, that's for sure. Cool. It's a real retail version of Screamer. I didn't have that yet, so yeah, I'm really into this. Really cool. Really cool. 1995. That's over 20 years old. Yeah, one handed. There we go. So what's next? Oh, that's the, the manual from the Riddle of Master Lou. From Ripley's Believe It or Not. Not sure what that is, so let's put that together then. So, these belong together. Let's just fix that. Why not? Oh, I hate these kind of sleeves. They always are too thick to fit in there. There we go. That's complete. All right, let's see what's next. Heart of Darkness. Yeah. And this one is still sealed. Wow. From the Bartmit. That's the, the Dutch... The Dutch store, where they got it. Look at it. It's still so Yeah, I cannot open this. I can't open this. This game, I remember that my best friend had this back in the day, my neighbors. Yeah, I really need to pick up on this game because this is playing awesome. Hey, question, is the chat just being quiet or? Yeah, the chat's being quiet. I thought it wasn't being displayed. So this is really cool. This is really cool. So that's four. What's next? What's this? Riven. Oh, this one's heavy. Oh, wow. Riven, the sequel to Mist. Does Mist have a sequel? This weighs over over a kilogram, maybe two. I've never played Mist, but I do know that I have the original Mist game as well, so I... Oh man, there's so much I need to play. Really cool. Really cool. I don't have much to tell about this game. <laughs> yeah. A sip of tea time. Yeah, Eddie, that's really cool, this stuff. What's... Ah, oh, another kicks. 
Oh, wait, that's the, the card that belongs in here. Yeah, well, let's just put it over. Oh, what's this? The Journeyman Project Turbo 1994. What the heck is this? What? The Rabbit, the Thunder Rabbit, quick. No time for fun, the carrot locker is empty. The rabbit tribe of Angel's Meadow is in great danger. Well, this, this sounds really awesome. What is this? Throw me in some research. This really sounds cool, but it says something else on the back. Then what's in here? Hmm. Well, next up is this box enemy engaged Apache Havoc whoa I'm not really into uh, uh, what's it called helicopter games but this 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 seems okay this is, this looks quite okay I'm not gonna play this though, but yeah, the box is awesome with the red and blue. Lekker contrasterend, heerlijk. Ga dan maar weer verder. Hmm. Dracula. No, what is it? Black, Black Dahlia. Black Dahlia. Starring Hollywood legend. The gentleman. I've never heard of it. Well, let's see. Starring Hollywood legend Dennis Hopper. Who the F is Dennis Hopper? This is not Dennis Hopper. This might be Dennis Hopper. Or this. You don't see art of this quality in adventure games every day. Unless you play this every day. The game is set in 1941. 1998 take two another interactive thriller yeah i've seen the tennis ball as well let's have a look at this look at this french open roland garros there's a tennis ball inside of this game <laughs> let's see if it's still intact yeah, I'm doing this one-handed. Yeah, it's it's in there. Look. How are we doing this one-handed? There it is. I bet it bounces like nothing but virtual reality sports. <laughs> well, clearly they haven't used an Oculus Rift yet. <laughs> I guess this is a, a, over 20 years old. Let's see. And if I'm not mistaken, I got two of these. Uh, it's a bit damaged, that's too bad. But hey, that's because we have to handle this with one hand very carefully. I'll look over here. Here's another one, but this one is missing the tennis ball. And it was 10 bucks. Oh, it was 100 bucks or 10. So it got discounted from 99, 95, 90 gulden to 10. That's not bad. That's just 10% of the original price. That's okay. I believe this is the same game, even the same edition. But this one's from the Bartsmith, Volendam, and this one is from the Bartsmith... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Alright, we got a nice stack over here. Let's see, what's this? Oh, it's Andretti Racing from EA Sports. What does it look like? It has 3D FX graphics. So, is this gonna run on MS-DOS? No, it's not. It's gonna run on Windows 95. That's okay. That's okay. 
Indie Car Precision. So this is one of the EA titles that has launched over the world, but has, well, I guess it's more popular over at America than over here. Yeah, this was made in the US. You got five driving views from the cockpit. Oh, look at that Texaco logo over there. Uh, 16 challenging tracks, supports 3D FX accelerators. Well, that's just plain awesome instead of pixelated gaming. Oh, this is cool. Eight instant replay camera angles. So none of them is custom. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. Oh, we're almost through this box. That's too bad. It's a good thing we got a lot of jewel cases over here. Atlantis 2. I didn't even play Atlantis 1, but it looks quite okay. It, it runs on the Cryo Interactive. Oh, I thought it was going to be the Cryo Engine, but that's something else, right? Let's see. Now, this is another N90s game from Infograms and Cryo Interactive and it's for Windows 95 32 megabytes of RAM 70 megabytes <laughs> it's called MO instead of megabytes MO SVGA wow this is cool this is really cool and it's the Dutch box as you can see everything is in Dutch Almost all games in here are Dutch. Hmm. Oh yeah, I have a feeling that this is gonna be Need for Speed 1. I'm not sure. Let's have a look. Let's put it on the edge. Next to the cucumbers. This one-handed stuff is just almost not doable. Let me open this real quick for you guys. No, it's not. It's not the need for speed. It's not need for speed. It's something else. Look at this. This is a little big adventure. <laughs> Whoa, let's see what's that. Dude, I praise you for uploading gameplay footage from Duke Nukem and Commander Keen to the two video games I was introduced to as a kid and two games nobody knows about. Well, welcome to my world, man. Welcome to my world. That's why I share this with an online community, even do some live streams of these kind of games so we can all connect together and share our uh, stories over these games because nothing, but really nothing is even cooler than reuniting somebody with with a piece of media that you have in your in the back of your head and seeing it again is just what did you say watching you play those games i swear it brought back so many fun memories yeah that's what i'll do this for and this is just special. This is just special, but Little Big Adventure. Yeah, this is the only version that has been released for the PC, right? From Electronic Arts. Why haven't I played this? I just didn't have this back in the day because it was 1994. Who had a, a even a CD player in the, the computer? And let's see, I think there's a manual in here as well, or is it a commercial thingy? Oh, this is the box from the Journeyman project. This is something else. This belongs to the disc I got over here, so let's just... And yeah, we do have the manual. Wait. Throw in the disc. And throw in the... Too bad, it's a black and white manual. Yeah, this is cool. And all of these discs really really are kept yeah in good state because they haven't been touched in 20 years don't know if you could see that but that's me yeah this is really really awesome well, be careful yeah what else do we got 
didn't know this was from Electronic Arts. I really thought this was going to be something like. Too bad the, the, the sleeve of this box isn't on there of Little Big Planet. That would have really finished this one. I'm not sure if it's. If, 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 yeah, if it belongs without, but I'm sure there's a sleeve for it. But I don't have it. At least I haven't seen it yet. What's this? What is this? This is the manual for the Need for Speed. Ah, yeah, I knew this was gonna be in there because somebody spoiled that. Yeah, all right. That's Need for Speed 2. I only played one, three, and six, and beyond, maybe a bit of five, but this is really cool. This is really cool. It's really, really in good shape. <laughs> Let's be really, really careful with this kind of stuff. Let's keep it over there. Oh, there's even more. What's this? <gasps> Is it a poster? It's a booklet poster. From the rulers of Zork, this is not from the Need for Speed, so let's keep that over here for now. What else is in there? I see some DVD sleeves over here. They look like movies. Oh, they're not. They're not movies. The first one is trains. All right. Oh, come on, focus. Yeah, there we are. So this is a model railroading on your PC. This really looks like the autoplay menu. <laughs> Collect, create, and after that you can even control. Well, it looks okay. For a train sim you can even drive from. Alright, remote control mode. Manage the traffic on your rail. Network and move. well, I'd rather play Transport Tycoon or Open TTD. That's more of my thing. But this really is awesome. And of course, it, it uh, yeah, the disc is in there. I can hear it shake. <laughs> I just have one hand to do this, so I cannot open them all. All right, next up is Pro 18 World Tour Golf, and it's from Psygnosis, from the makers of Lemmings. At least I think so, not sure. Or was that DMA design? Psychosis is the, the, uh, the distributor, of course, not the developer. When Intelligent Games set out to create Pro 18 World Tour Goal, they knew they were... Uh, they knew there was some stiff opposition in the field. So they took their time and analyzed everything there was to know about the competition and the result of the most competitive golf game yet. Manual included on disc 2. Yeah, it looks awesome, but you guys did not give me a tennis ball with this, so... <laughs> or a golf ball for that matter. <laughs> well, a big one on the case. It's really big. <laughs> Alright, cool, cool. And yet another DVD sleeve, but I'm not sure if it's legal, but let's just have a look at it. Let's just have a look. Well, that doesn't really look legal, so I'm not going to spend too much attention to this, but that's Driver and Colin McGree. <laughs> All right. I didn't choose this. We got this for free from a colleague of my girlfriend, so... Let's see, activation car from activation technical support, please. In Australia, well, thanks for the heads up. So we got some nice jewel cases in here. What's this? <gasps> yeah, I, I do have a CD like this, at least. I, 
Please help me, can you tell the game from my speech? MS-DOS game. Hey Sigma Tell, welcome to the stream. Atmel, what are you looking for? Maybe maybe it's between the, 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 the games in the box, I don't know. Let's see, on this disc is Death Rally, which is awesome, didn't play it too much. Daytona, oh that's cool. Look at the car being upside down, mid-air over there. Pod is cool, Ignition. I don't know, International Rally Championship, Interstate, I do know Interstate, that's with the orange car. It's not, I do not say that because I can see it behind the, 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 the three people standing there, but um, six super fast racing games, but yeah, this might be all shareware. I, I somehow recognize this logo, the shape of this text, I, I do know. I think I have more CDs of this because this is Dutch. You can see that from the flag and it's the text is in Dutch, but let's see what's in there. What's on the disc? Does it say shareware? Let's see. Yeah, I have the, the, the shooting one of these discs that I bought back in the day, but that, that was a demo disc. So I really felt a bit upset about that. Let's see. What does it say over here? Yeah. This CD-ROM contains shareware, freeware, and demo games. <laughs> so, if you buy this, you just buy the compilation and the menu on there, but it's filled with freeware and shareware, so... But it's really cool because these kind of discs cont mainly contains... Uh, sometimes they contain games that, ha that you, you're not aware of, so... Let's check them out someday, for sure. That's cool. All right, let's see what else do we got in here. The next one is the... What is this? Mario's Time Machine? For IBM PC and Compatibles. Wait. I know that there's a game from Mario Teaches Typing. But Mario's Time Machine? I really have to look this up and play this. What's that? Oh, the software tool works. Do you see that? Oh, let's focus, focus, focus. Yeah, you can see the software tool works. That's the same company that made the Billy Butt kit. Are you have total DOS collection number 15? Uh, I don't think so. Total DOS collection, no, I don't think so. This. Uh, these games I'm showing you right now, like these, I got for f for free from a colleague. And look, all kinds of awesome games. I'm just showing them one by one. And if you missed out on the stream, I'll look it back later. Ah, oh, there we go. The seven guest. Well, I do have the 11 hour back at home in a book sleeve, but this is just awesome. The seven guest, 30 gulden's. And it's the Dutch one, but I guess the game is just in English. Two CDs, cool. Didn't have this, love it. Hmm, oh, this looks like something that doesn't really belong. Magnetic, the game of games. Sounds cool, I might check it out. Not sure if it's abandoned where by now, but I did not burn this, so don't attack me for that. <laughs> but you might, you may attack me. Fable, a quest to end all quests. Oh, that's cool. This wasn't sent. This uh, was given to me by a colleague of my girlfriend who heard that I kind of collect or love these games and they were in the way. They had this on their attic for like uh, 20 years now and they decided to donate it to me and look how awesome this collection is. It's just one moving box and another box with jewel cases. But this is just awesome. I'm getting a dry mouth. Let's drink a sip of tea. The X-Fools. 
<laughs> this is a spoof to uh, the X-Files. I know that Anna has this one as well, but he has a boxed. This is just a dual case version, but I don't really care that it is in box, but this is just awesome. So this is a spoof of the X-Files. Abduct. <laughs> abduct this trust. Uh, abduct this. Yeah, I don't know, Atmel. <laughs> I can't wait to play these. <laughs> trust no one. Run, Agent Run, and more. What the is? Are these separate games or chapters? I don't know. The unauthorized paranormal paranoid oh, paranoid paranormal parody of the X Files. Wow, that's that's a tongue twister. The unauthorized paranoid paranormal par parody of the X Files. Oh, that's just cool. Don't trust anyone. It says trust over here. <laughs> cool. Sounds amazing. They look like fun mini games. Yeah, I want to do this. I want to. I really want to play that. Let's see what else is in there. Well, this. Hmm. Doesn't really look complete. What is this? Wait. World War One: A History of Medicine. The string alongs the great generals of the 20th century. The unexplained. <laughs> I see an alien over there. World War II. That's Mr. Adolf. Hello, Mr. Adolf. The space race. My generation. The war in the Pacific and explorers and exploration. What is this fuck? For interactive disc by Flag Tower. Well, this is about everything of history until now, right? <laughs> There's even a cheese string on here. Why? It says string alongs. I'm not sure what's what is it? What's on the other side? Because it's a double jewel case. Okay. Oh, what? What does it say? Bonus disc by Hoogspel 50. By Opstarter see Hoogspel 50, pagina 10. I do not know what this disc is. Hoogspel. Hmm. It means high game in Dutch, but I do not know what this is. Let's check this out real soon. Uh, let's see, you had a question about do you use DOSBox emulator or do you have an old IBM PC? Well, I do have a Windows XP machine, 32 bit, and I do have an uh, old IBM, well, it's not an IBM, but I do have a uh, self built Pentium 1 with MS DOS on it and a program menu, and sometimes I do stream from that. This is. Oh, well, that's the password. <laughs> smceurope.com Well, this sounds like a piece of networking software. I'm not really interested in that. Not right now. This is 3D Interior Designer 2. From the Kruidvat 5 Peak. Look! You can build your own room. This is The Sims 1.0. No, 0 0.5. What's next? Yes, A2 Razer. This is the Dutch racing game that really, really... Hoogspel was a magazine. Anna, check this out. We got A2 Razer legit right now. <laughs> Let's see if it's in there. Yeah, of course it is. Cool. Postzegel plakken niet nodig. Da Felix. All right. This seems to be a copied disc as well. With Jurassic Park 3, but I'm not sure if it's gonna be the movie or something else. It has a little extra note in, in there. Yeah. 
yeah click a dot file to play well we'll see about that i'm not sure if jurassic park 3 has a game but if it does it's on here too bad it's a copy but hey so this does not belong in here <laughs> Dit is Ron Brandsteder en zijn maatjes. Liedjes die iedereen kent. Oh shit. My battery is running low for my phone, so let's speed this up a little bit. Gouden serie, meer dan 100. Not pirated edition, only license. Yeah, I don't know. Explosieve animaties. I see a building, let's blow it up. It has 130 explosive animations. Well, I'm a designer, this can come in handy. <laughs> I don't think so, but... The Golden 100. Yeah, these are the discs that I love. DOS and Windows Shareware. These discs contain the most strange software out there. Well, you never know what's on here. I love to check this out. Really love to. It's gonna be one big surprise. Lollipop for MS DOS. Hmm. I have never heard of this. Hmm. It's in Dutch. This looks like a really cute platformer for MS DOS. I've never heard of this. Need to play this real soon. All right, I need to grab my phone charger. Please give me, give me one minute. I'll be back. Sorry guys for the short interruption, I haven't plugged in my phone yet, turned on some lights though, but if we uh, have seen all of these, we're moving to another table where I got even more games. <gasps> yeah, that's Lemmings. The Lemmings Chronicles from Psychnosis, yeah. I bet all of the Lemmings games are on there. How cool is that? I don't know what my next uh, game on stream shall be, but it might as well be. Kijk eens, kijk eens. Anna, do you know where this comes from? One hint. PMR. Yeah, I, I dropped my phone because I need to grab something and I didn't feel like taking my phone with me. Look at this. PMR, Project 2, anyone? Same releaser. <laughs> That's my uncle's. <laughs> Cool. You find them anywhere. Mega Race 2 with the is this this one with the strange man as well? Oh, it's in Dutch. Adam and him, the graphics in the zeer snel spel zorgen. Yeah, I, I really need to play this because I played Mega Race a bit, especially part one, but not too much. There we go. Anna. Vacantie Razor. That's cool. That's really cool. Vacancy Razor. Didn't have this back in the day, but there it is. <laughs> cool. And my boekje zit ertussen. Goed zo. A2 Razor 2. Another awesome Dutch game. Spectacular racing game on the Dutch highway. Yeah, that's really cool. From Amsterdam to Utrecht. Yeah, Voodoo 3DFX games. Yay for that. <laughs> that looks amazing. I did record this and it's on my YouTube channel. You can go from Amsterdam to uh, Rotterdam to then The Hague. Everywhere. 
this one is the only one that I got uh, rolling on a Windows 7 machine a few years back. So I recorded this one and it's on my YouTube channel. It doesn't really run that smooth, but it's, 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 it's viewable. Yeah, this doesn't really ring a bell, but it's called Redline Razor from Ubisoft. Not sure. I'll play it, don't worry. Terminal Velocity from 3D Realms for MS-DOS. Hell fucking yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the collection, friends. Welcome to the collection. <laughs> Alright. Ah, there's the other part. Look at it. The 11th hour. In a dual case. The 4 CD version, isn't it? 18 years plus. Well, can be that scary, isn't it? It's the... It's 70 desolate years since the horrifying murders of the Chronicle in the seventh guest. Ooh, so cool. Part two. I've never played the seventh guest or the eleventh hour, so I do know that Anna has the version with the, the, the uh, videotape in there, so that's really cool with the making of. Oh, what's this? Creature Shock. Get ready for the fright of your life. Oh, I'm ready. Don't worry. Eee, try not to drop it, please. Please don't drop it. It doesn't really ring a bell, this, but I love the Virgin Games, so this is amazing. <laughs> it's in good state, of course. All both CDs are in there. Cool. My battery is running low, so we need to rush this. What's this? Oh, this is Colin Gree, but the, the, the full version instead of the <laughs> copied version. And this is Bejeweled, Disney, Flight Simulator, Monopoly, Ski, Tetris, Lemmings, Claw, oh no, Chess, Chess 2000. Uh, Atmel, I do not have my computer with me, that's why I'm streaming on phone, I'm not at home right now, I just returned from a vacation this morning, I am tired as, well, as hell. Next time, we'll play from the computer. So this is an illegal copy, of course. Anna, check out this. Check this out. I'm not sure. If, yeah, I saw a claw in the background, so that's why I said it, but this is claw, but I'm not sure if this is a rule version. Well, yeah, it is, because it says games, Seven Kingdoms, Claw, Psychomania, Dungeon Keeper, Man in Black, Quake 2, Starfleet Academy, and a few demos. So these should be full games, right? <laughs> this is my... Only the DOS demos are playable. Claw, that's amazing. Uh, even more games? No, it's the same list of games. Cool. All right, we got like five to go. Oh, this this is a double one again. What's in here? Oh, wait. Oh, uh, another game of Atlantis. Two, and it's been wrapped with. All right, we're toilet paper, so let's just be jumping. Yeah, that's a jumping cat with again, and that's a really cool platform. Ooh, this one didn't age well. Grand Prix 3, which crack. <laughs> Very obscure. Four, Ford Racing 2. And the last one in there is a design thing from the mobile blind light door. Now, boom it up. All right, let's move a little bit to this side of the... And now I'm gonna charge my phone. Give me one second to hook it up to the charger. Because it's really running low on battery right now. Yes, we're being charged right now. I hope it doesn't drain faster than it charges. Um, the only thing I need is a coaster. Let's see. We got our cup of tea over here. 
Hmm. What's next? Spel zet erom. Bordervol met het leukste shareware spel voor MS-DOS en Windows. Voor jong en oud. 15 gulden. Of 300 keer beffen. Oh. Dat is Belgische franken. So this game, this thing is filled with shareware demos. No, there's no sugar in there. There's no sugar in there. Not today. Although we could have used it. Let's see what's in there. It doesn't say a thing about what's in there. Too bad. So we just have to check out what's in there. Maybe it's on the back side. Oh yeah. For MS-DOS, Windows and Mac. And it has action, adventure, board, thinking games, Doom. What? Doom? Is Doom a category? Card, card games, children games, space, board, and anything else. <laughs> well, this man really bought a lot of games at Dixon's. Good, good job, good finds. Next, oh, there it is again. Release date not written. Well, it's not on there, so it doesn't say when it's bought. But I guess somewhere mid 90s because it's still in, in guldens instead of euros. POD from Ubisoft. Well, this is the second disc of POD that we find, but the other one was on a shareware disc with other racing games. This is cool. This is cool. Very cool. Next up is ooh, another copy disc. How do we open it? Well, it's in reverse. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is going to be a big surprise to everyone. Oh, yeah. It's a rewritable with Bejeweled 2. Well, that didn't really have to take up a complete disc, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, volgens mij heb jij deze ook, Anne. I think you have this one as well. Pissed. This is the the the. Isn't this the parody on Mist? Four million people have trashed the island. Now it's your turn. <laughs> oh. eh. Eh. We go. It's in great shape. Yeah, it says it's a parody. That's cool. I want to see the scratches. Dude, there are no scratches. These are really, really good maintenance. Another sip of tea. Fun to do something else for streaming for every once in a while like this. Watch this. Come on, focus. Discover the unexpected space. Mitsubishi Space Star from Mitsubishi. What? What is this? It's from Mitsubishi Motor Sales Nederland. Yeah, did you see we, that we have the X-Fools as well? So we got two of the four parodies you just named. So this is a promotional disc for Mitsubishi Nederland. With Space Star Visual Car Configurer. Hmm. Okay. I have to check this out. 19.99. What's this? Hey Max Gaming, welcome to the stream man. We're just unboxing some stuff that I got. The Mega Movie Guide. So this is gonna tell us what movies we want to see.
with movie clips. Is that Charlie Chaplin? Yep. I don't know from which movie that is, but it looks like something like Home Alone. Nearly two hours of film clips from some of the greatest films such as Apollo 13, Schindler's List and In the Name of the Father and many others. No, it's not a video editor. No, this is a video guide. Oh, this is a guide that tells you what movies to watch. 90s movies though. It says games, but this is not really a game. <laughs> from Softkey. Hmm. Sounds not too bad. Oh, there's another one. Colin McRee Rally 3. Well, that's illegal again. Hmm. I've never heard of this Toyota game. Toyota Cel Celica GT. Is it any good? This realistic rally sim tests your driving skills over 30 different courses in 3 different countries. Watch for the on-screen prompts on your, from your co-driver as you skid around the bends. Hmm. Doesn't really look too bad. It really... I want to check this because I love the graphics on this and this. I don't like this. It looks cool, it looks like a bit of test driver. Oh man, I do not know, I, I, I'm just unboxing this for the first time, friend. I've never seen these games. Yeah, it it might, might be on the Doom engine. I'm not sure. It's for every age, it's age appropriate, it's from Homesoft. Yeah, look it up. It's from the Fein Day 15 Peak. All right, what's this? Main home page. I have no clue what this is. You do. Oh, this is a build your own website thing with no longer under construction personal edition. Uh, sure. It's in Dutch. Let's build a homepage on this software really soon and, and uh, let's put it on bartremmers.nl. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> All right. Yeah, did you see it? It's a, a World Wide Web image because as you can see, it's the world with a web and it's quite wide. So that's the fun on that. I did see that. The world of logos and fonts and icons. I did make up the logos, but hey, this looks like crap. I need to see this because I'm a designer. I, I, I guess these fonts are just bad. <laughs> uh, 12,000 true type and Adobe fonts. Well, that can be. Let's see if Helvetica is on there. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Duke Nukem or Redneck Rampage or Heretic? What else? I do have to Duke Nukem 3D, but I, every game that I have was given to me, almost all of them. So, Euro Ages Beyond Mist. I do not know what this is, but it has something to do with Mist. Uh, it's an illegal copy again. So. Let's do not spend time on that. We didn't chose that. <sighs> this is from back in the day when Need for Speed was still called the Need for Speed. <laughs> yeah, this is cool. For MS DOS and Windows 95, this is the second edition of Need for Speed. Barely played this though. Yeah, love it. I got the manual over there. Did find that. Uh, what's this? Exactly, Max. Exactly. Borland Delphi. Hmm. 
Don't know what this is, but this is a curse. Oh, some software over there. Wait, I clicked something on my mobile phone, but how do I? Ah, there we go. Oh, we can do filters. How cool is that? Black and white, black and white. Awesome filters. Disco filters, bubbles. Why? Why should I? Let's go back to normal. <laughs> All right, there we go. Back to normal. Um, cool solver and curses. Yeah, courses. Yeah. Oh, too bad. This is an illegal copy of Carmageddon The Dead Race from 2000 or 1999. But this is the least fun uh, version of Carmageddon. It wasn't even made by the original team. This was made by Eidos, the, the ones responsible for Tomb Raider, and they shouldn't have sticked their neck out for this game because <laughs> it sucks. Fifty in one auto race games from 1997 for DOS, Windows, and Windows 95. Yeah, that that's the. These are the discs. Let's take a look. Scunny card, um, wacky wheels, test drive, super speed, supercars. Let's see. Micro machines, one, two, mega race. Let's see, what does it say over here? Is shareware previews and stuff. Need for speed. Oh, it's not called the need for speed. Hmm. But yeah, oh, Carmageddon. <laughs> Death Rally, Destruction Derby. So this is an obscure demo disc again. Five bonus discs. Have a nice day. Pie Jackers, POD. Oh, again, POD. It's the third time we encounter POD today. Sega, Sega Rally Champ. Slicks and Slide is cool. Roadhog, Road Warrior. Yeah, I know most of these. Let's check out. Let's just pick out a disc and do a complete live stream on one disc. Oh man, we're gonna have so much fun with these. All right, up for something new. Chess. Wait, what? What the fuck? Terminator 2 Judgment Day, Chess Wars. What? Terminator 2 Chess Wars. <laughs> this is, this sounds really cool. And very dull at the same time. <laughs> cool. We need to check that out. <laughs> hmm, what's next? The Legend of... What? What does it say? The Legend of... Riramnia? Fables and Friends from Westwood. Malcolm's Revenge. This doesn't really ring a bell. Whoa, what happens to the brightness? Oh man, I'm blocking the sensor of my, my camera. Wait. I've never heard of this game, but this is a book and this is the third book. But it's an IBM Westwood game, so... And Virgin... Well, we need to check this out. I've never heard of this. Kirandia. Oh yeah, that's a K. What would I've done without you, Anna? <laughs> yeah, don't care. That CD one of Colin McGree, and this is probably CD three. And then this is going to be Sanitarium. Hmm, but illegal copy. Hey. Yeah, we do have the original game of this, but this is the user's manual, so... But probably it's gonna be the game, don't worry. Yeah, I think this is the, the complete game. Hmm. I love this, by the way. Look how this aged. Pure gold. Oh, I love the feeling of this. <laughs> I do have some CDs at home that exactly look like this. 
It really looks gold. It's amazing. Of course, it's an illegal copy or a downloaded version or whatever, but oh man, look at it. <laughs> But we do have the original game, and as long as you have the original game, I do have it in box, in multiple languages, so if you have it boxed, there's no problem with having a copy, right? Yeah, this is just plain cool. We still need to stream this as well, but too bad. This isn't the original, but I do have this one original on Steam. Uh, all of the versions, except for the 2009 version of the game, because that wasn't really funny. The Dixons today, too fast for you. I'm not sure what that is, but Sim Tower, Stone Keep, Wetlands, Worms. I guess this is another, yeah, yeah. Playable demos, screenshots. Let's see if some, what's Triazel? Don't know Triazel. Adu Drive sounds cool as well. And many others. Hmm. Interesting. Really interesting. Cool. What's next? Oh, there's a leg. Someone told me about this, but I do not know this game. There's lots of them I don't know. That's just too bad. Zork Nemesis. It really looks amazing. This looks like an amazing adventure game. Action adventure game, something like that. And it has more CDs as well. And besides this jewel case over here, well, it's it's a fat jewel case. Not sure how how you call a double jewel case. But besides this, there is a oh, let's see. Oh, you can use it both ways. There is a cover in there. Look at this book. Look at this. This is some sort of manual and hint book. That's cool. This is really cool. Oh man, I wish I had more spare time for this kind of stuff because this is just awesome to play. Hey, Art World! I got this one on Steam. It was free a few years ago. It's really cool. Oh, is it the seventh version? Sword Nemesis Wall. Then I've been missing out. <laughs> the world of Windows 95 sounds more than a 600 megabyte. Megabyte. Where's the S? Where's the S on that? Sound of Windows 95. Oh, I love this. You can still use these sounds, of course, as a ringtone if you like. Or as a notification sound on your phone. That would be awesome. You can put that to many, 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 many uses. What's this? Oh, we found part two, but hey, this is part one of Mega Race. In this future, speed that kills isn't enough. Bundled version. Cool. And these are the controls. <laughs> Press A to accelerate, point to go to the right, comma to go to the left and spacebar to fire. Well, this is information you need. Thank you. Welcome back. 
we're almost through all of the games and that means end of the stream. Lands of the Lore. Well, that looks like the Kyriandia game, right? See? Yeah! The wide label games. Oh, we can zoom in as well. Cool. Oh, these graphics look really, really good. Looks like one of the more modern. <laughs> well, this is weird. <laughs> hey, boo. <laughs> it looks like a modern adventure game. Well, I'm almost through the complete collection, so. Ah, we got the return of Zorik as well. Cool. With the book. Ah, let's just put that in there then, because it belongs in there. It's a big fat book though. Let's see if we can get it between the thingies with one hand. Come on, give me a second. No, I cannot get it in there. It's just stuck. So we have to do that later. And this is. Decent too. Destination Quartzen. Doesn't really ring a bell, but it's, it sounds like a uh, 3D jet fighter in space. But who knows? Google does. And another disc Grand Prix 3 with crack. <laughs> Classic. Well, I guess we're through all of them. Yeah. Hard truck. Monsters Inc. Well, that might as well be the movie. But I do know they have a game. I never played it. I love the Disney games. All of them are amazing. I still need to play Hercules. Terminal Velocity. Well, we've seen that one in between this stack over there. So that, let's put this aside and put it in the Rajogas. And this is the last one in there. With the manual inside out. This is Zork. Grand Inquisitor, cool, with a very heavy booklet as well. Well, we need to play the Zork games, I hear it, I hear you. That's what we need to do, look how they look. They look really impressive. Let's play all of them when we get the time. Cool. So, there are no more games. I've shown you all of them. Thank you guys for joining in on this stream. This is an amazing donation. And if you are watching this and you think, hey, I got some games that I don't or rarely play and I want to get rid of them and I do not want to throw them out. No, I want to give them to someone that love it. Contact me because I, I, I might have a space for them. I really like receiving these kind of games and uh, it's really cool. Look at them. Where is it? Somewhere in here is the... Ah <laughs> oh, man, I cannot find it. Nope, oh, that's Mega Race. So we got part a six, a seven, and eight. Oh, there's Odd World again, and here's the Zorg booklet that goes with this one. At least I think it goes with this one. I'm not sure uh, where this one belongs with. Well, it's some sort of hint book. It's really cool. It's too cool. Well, I can't seem to find Terminal Velocity that fast, but it's somewhere in here. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, next time we'll be playing a game on stream. So, uh, 
not doing this from the phone. <laughs> this was just a temporarily uh, impulsive <laughs> response to gaining a lot of games and it's awesome. So thanks for joining in and I'll see you guys the next time playing games.